Hey guys, Little V here, giving you guys a little bit of a different video than what you're probably used to. The good guys over at uh, Timber Tones Guitar Picks sent me over some goodies to try out, and uh, specifically the Buffalo Bone and Buffalo Horn uh, Picks, which are pretty damn cool. I've got one right here, and uh, today we're going to be trying one of these guys out here. I'm going to be comparing it to just like a regular old Dunlop nylon, uh, what size is this here, 88, just to kind of give you guys you know, a little example of the differences in tone and stuff like that. I really like this pick in particular because uh, it gives you lots of attack and it's very bright and when you have you know like super high gain amps and you know seven strings and eight strings and all the crazy stuff or like some super drop tuning it gives you almost that like genty, I don't know what else to call it, but that genty per periphery mashoga kind of sound to it. Like, you know, you just It's very bright on the strings like and then compared to this much, much brighter. I would be very interested to see how these would sound with something equipped with a bare knuckle aftermath pickup, which, if anyone from Periphery is watching, first off, wow, thanks for watching my video. Second off, uh, give that a shot, because, like, these things are really cool. Now, also, my, uh, regular viewers will notice that this is a little bit different. This is a different instrument here. Uh, this is an ESP LTD AW7, the Alex Wade model, uh, from, uh, Whitechapel. I uh, recently sold the white Hellraiser I had to grab this thing because I really like this neck. It is a very nice neck. It's not quite as large as the Schecter, but it's not quite as thin as an Ibanez, and I really don't like those very thin necks. I've tried a few of them, and I'm just not a huge fan. And then, yeah, it's got uh, the, deact uh, the activators, um, the Marzo deactivators and these guys here. And then, uh, yeah, I also really like the look of it, too. It's, uh, it's kind of like a retro meets like modern kind of look to it, right? Like it's got a pick guard, it's got kind of that Strat-esque kind of headstock, but then of course it's a seven string, you know, and uh, if you look really closely there's a flamed maple to it, which is a really nice uh, little subtle detail about it. Well enough talk, let's get to the actual reason why you're here watching this video right now. <laughs> 